So links are an essential part of websites, right? It's how we navigate from one page to another. And, and actually it's part of the reason we have HTML, it's hypertext because we have hyperlinks that bring us to places. And links do more than just bring us to places. We can link to files and do other things as well. You can link to phone numbers and all sorts of stuff that's really cool. But for now, we're just gonna focus on creating a regular link, though adding one to go to a file or anything else like that would follow the same steps that we're doing right now. And what we wanna look at for now is what element do we use to create a link? And based on what we've covered so far, uh, I'm gonna jump back to my HTML or my index.html file here. And uh, that's this file that's right here. And let's just say for now, we're not gonna put the link in, in the right place. Uh, I'm gonna add one uh, right after my H1. So let's say I came here and I'm gonna do a paragraph. Why don't you go and visit page two? <laughs> And I want page two to be a link. So what element do I wrap this in? And what, from based on what everything we've learned so far, you might think that you come in and you do a link, right? That would make sense, but no, we don't use a link. And maybe go, oh, well, if it's not a link, it maybe it's it's just L, right? Because L short for link, sort of like with paragraph and all these other things we've been looking at that have abbreviations, but it's not an L either. It's actually an A. <laughs> and that might seem a little bit weird, but we're gonna do an open A. I'm gonna close my A there. And the first thing that's important here before we worry about why it's an A tag is that it is an inline element. And you probably assumed as much already because you always see links that are sort of in the middle of a paragraph of text or something, right? Uh, but here, this is not gonna create a new line. This will create a link within this paragraph. So let's hit save on that and let's go here and refresh my page. And I have the text showing up. We'll zoom back in on that to make it bigger. Uh, we have this page two coming there, but it's not a link. It doesn't look like a link. It's click on it, nothing happens. And that's because, well, where would this link go? The browser is looking at it going, this should be a link, but I have no information about where this link should go, so I'm not actually going to do anything. And this brings up an important part of HTML, which is HTML attributes. Most elements don't require one, but links are one of the elements that require us to have an attribute because without an attribute on it, it doesn't know where to go. And by adding, we can use an attribute on here to tell the browser that when I click this link, this is what I'm, I want you to do, basically. So in this case, we're gonna come on this A, or I'm gonna come on this A, uh, and then I'm gonna put a space. Let's just bring this a bit bigger. And actually, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so we're all on one line. And so to add an attribute on something, you'd come inside the opening tag. The attributes are always on the opening tag, never on the closing tag. So on this opening tag right here, I'm gonna come inside here and I'm gonna put a space. And just because that's jumping on over to another line, I'm gonna shrink my, my VS code down a little bit here to make it easier to see all together. So we have the element itself that I'm putting there with the A and then I'm gonna have a space. And then after that space, I'm gonna come in with the attribute. And in this case, it's my href. And href is equal to, and as soon as I put the equal sign there, VS Code's automatically gonna add this opening and closing quotation marks. And you must have the quotation marks after an attribute. So it's always attribute is equal to, and then something within quotation marks. That always works the same. The thing that changes from element to element is the attribute that we're going to be using. And if you're wondering why it's href, it's the ref is your reference. I think it's hypertext reference, though it might be HTTP reference, one of the two uh, on that. So we're referencing somewhere else that we want it to go. Hypertext reference doesn't make sense. Uh, so yeah, we're referencing something. Now, what are we referencing? Well, we just created another page. If we go look here, we have this getting started.html. So that could be somewhere that we want to navigate to. So let's add that here, uh, getting started and you can see VS Code's actually auto-completing that for me to make my life a little bit easier. So if I click on that, it does that. Uh, and now if I save on that and I go and refresh over here, now I actually have this page two link that's coming up. And if I click on that, it brings me over to page two. That's awesome, right? Uh, it looks a little bit different. Let's go back. I'm gonna just hit my back button and we'll zoom back out. So the font sizes and everything are the same. And then clicking the link brings me there and I can use my back button uh, to come back to my first page. Of course, if I'm on page two, I wanna be able to get back to page one. So to be able to do that, it's the exact same idea. We can go over to that other page. So if I come down to here, let's do a similar idea, paragraph, uh, and then inside that, we'll fix my indentation in a second. Uh, if you'd like, you can go back to page one, <laughs> right? And then uh, with that one right here, where we have the, let's say, go back to page one, I can put an A starting there, 
grab it, move it on over to here, and then say that this href is equal to, and then I just put in the file name I want, go to my index.html. And in doing that, if I refresh this page, go back to page one, oh, look at that, we have a working website that jumps back and forth. If you go and take a look at the design yourself, you can see down here, we have a link that should be interested, find out more. That link should be what brings us to the second page. Uh, and if I go look at the second page, this link that is right here would be the one that brings us over to the first page. But the other thing here is we have this traditional climbing that's right there. And I want you to update this traditional climbing to actually go to an article on Wikipedia. And to be able to do that, it's a little bit different because how do we actually get to something that's not inside of our root folder? Right now, our index, we just put in the file name that we want to go to and it knows to bring us there. And this is because this is called a relative link. And relative links are looking at things that are relative to this file. So I'm going from my index to my getting started. We don't have to navigate anywhere else. We're staying in our root folder and they're just next to one another. So I just put the file name. There's a little bit more to relative links because sometimes you're in nested folders and you're moving back and forth a little bit. We're gonna talk more about those a little bit later on in the course when we get to the CSS section because we're gonna have to deal with that when we set up our CSS file. But for now, I just wanna show you how we also have absolute links. And let's just, I'm gonna come here again. We're gonna, I'll do another. Why don't you go visit page two or you can go to this other website instead. <laughs> Just to, as an example, we'll, we'll get the right things in here after. But what I'm going to do is let's come here and I have the MDM still open. And this is at like mozilla.org. So let's just say maybe we don't want to go to this article. We would just want to link people to Mozilla or maybe like bouldering.com or something in, in this example. But uh, we'll say this other website. So I come in, I do my A there. I close my A over here. And then I come and I do my href is equal to, and let's say mozilla.org or bouldering.com or whatever we want and I hit save on there. We can see now I have this other website that's showing up right here and if I click on that it breaks. It doesn't actually work. It's not bringing me to mozilla.org and if you look at the address bar at the top the reason that it's not working is because it's looking for mozilla.org inside my first project. This is a relative link. It's looking for things within the root folder that we've created. So how do we tell the browser that something should actually be living somewhere else? We do that with what's called an absolute link and it's very easy to do it. All it means is at the beginning of the address, it either has to have the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, or it could be the HTTPS. These days, much more common with the S, which is just meaning it's a secure connection. By having it, this at the front of it, the browser knows, okay, we're not looking for something that's relative to the file that we're currently in. We're, getting, we're gonna escape outside of the root project. We're gonna go and find an external website instead. So if I hit save on that one, and we come and go back on this, refresh, and now I click on it, it's actually gonna bring me over to mozilla.org and everything works perfectly fine as I would expect it to. So relative links are just the file names or the path to the file name. Again, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, and then absolute links are ones that start either with HTTP or HTTPS. So just make sure if you're linking off to something yourself and you're writing in the address, you have to start with that if it's an external website. So I'm gonna delete this because this doesn't make any sense in this context uh, right there. And then I'm gonna go over to my getting started and I'm gonna delete this example too because I don't want that. None of those should be in my files. I'm gonna save all of those. I'm gonna refresh my page and now I have to build those links back in uh, the way that we had them in the actual design. But I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna let you do it. So go and find the correct text. Again, this one should link over to a Wikipedia article on traditional climbing, the link to which is in this lesson. Though you could link to any Wikipedia article you want, just make sure it's going to something external. Uh, and then the link over here should go to page two. And on page two, the link right here should bring you back to page one. And I've shown you everything you need to know to be able to do this, so I'm not going to show you my steps in doing it because I trust that you can pull this off on your own.